And what, what's, what do you say is the truth then of what happened? The there? truth is that, uh, well, the truth is, if you want to go back a few months, that uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, armies, uh, the Bosnian armies, uh, Sir, Sir, um, uh, Srebrenica was a protected base, theoretically. It was so nobody could get in, presumably. And the, the uh, 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 Muslim armies were using it as a base to attack Serbian villages outside. And they were very frank and open about it. Uh, Nasser Orich, the head of the militias, uh, uh, bragged to the press, it was reported in the United States and uh, Washington Post and so on, that he was sending his troops out into the Serb villages and beheading people and torturing them. And then they'd go back into the safe zone. Well, you know, it's pretty clear that sooner or later there's going to be a response to this. And what he then did was pull out his militias. And when the Serbs came in, which they did in reaction, you know, they were kind of surprised. There was no military defense. And then they carried out a lot of atrocities. The Serb forces did? The Serb forces, yeah. You know, we don't. I mean, it's called genocide. And I don't use the word genocide much. I think it's... The way it's used strikes me as a kind of Holocaust denial. I mean, to use genocide when you kill a bunch of people you don't like, that demeans the victims of the Holocaust, I think. So I rarely use the word. I don't think it's used properly. But to kill, say, a couple of thousand men in a village and after you've allowed the women and children to escape, in fact, truck them out, that doesn't count as genocide.